Hi, we're Stephen and Jess from Flying the Nest and we travel the world while sharing stories of the people we meet, the cultures we experience and the places we go both above ground and below the ocean. One of our passions that we love when we travel is diving in marine conservation and we are currently here in far north Queensland to find out more about Westpac Little Ripper and how mobile connectivity is helping to save more lives. Australia's beaches are some of the most beautiful in the world but also the most dangerous. In 2018, there were 27 shark attacks in Australian waters, nine more than the previous year. Sharks are very difficult to see in relation to uh, finding people or sharks that are close to people. It always becomes difficult, especially from an aerial perspective. I have seen the, uh, the aftermath of shark attacks in relation to the blood loss and the trauma um, and the significant injuries that people do sustain. Between 2016 and 2018, shark nets were installed in Australia's north coast to tackle the problem. However, the shark nets killed over 30 sharks, 8 dolphins, 9 turtles and over 100 rays. A better solution was needed. Enter Westpac Little Ripper's Shark Spotter. Single and multi-rotor unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones as they're more commonly known, use Telstra's mobile network to provide a live video stream from above, giving the lifeguard service a view of what's going on in the water like never before. Westpac Little Ripper is all about having more eyes, more places, more often. Capable of detecting sharks with 90% accuracy in emergency situations, the drones are equipped with life-saving flotation pods and electronic shark repellent that can be dropped into the water to aid swimmers in distress. What an epic drone that's able to drop this life buoyancy and then self-inflate so that if someone out there is in distress, they can literally just hang on to this and they sent it from that drone. Wow. So Shark Spotter is a very rapid way of working out exactly what's in the water. Ultimately, it takes the video footage that we run on the drones and processes it real time. Mobile co connectivity is vital with Westpac Little Ripper in relation to our situational awareness. We need that Telstra connectivity, which in Australia, Telstra is known to have the best network coverage um, and the highest speeds. So we, re we rely on Telstra in regards to being able to send our data up to the cloud. And when I was doing flying helicopters, we were running at 17% accuracy. Now with Shark Spotter on the drones, I'm running at 93% accuracy and it's telling me exactly what's in the water um, and what's potentially lurking as a threat. I was part of a team that was involved in rescuing two kids at Lennox Head. It was, uh, I believe, the world's first surf rescue involving a drone. The beach was closed that day, huge three metre swells, and as young kids do, they decided it would be a good idea to go for a swim. And then we got a call from the public saying we've possibly got some people in trouble. So we just mobilised, got one of the lifeguards to fly the drone, we flew down, we spotted the kids. Lifeguards determined that they were in trouble. Flicked the switch, we dropped these kids a pod. It landed, they grabbed on, they were able to use the pod with the waves pushing on them to bring them into shore. Uh, it took approximately 70 seconds for us to get the pod to them and drop it. And by the time they'd washed into shore, lifeguards were there in their ATV, which was the time they would have been there ready to paddle out. These kids were already ashore, so no one else even had to go in the water to help them. It was a really positive experience to get those kids home for dinner that night. It was great. But sharks are not the only predators in Australia's waters that pose a danger to people. We know that crocodiles attack people. They're large predatory reptiles. Small crocodiles will generally only bite people out of defence. They want to stay out of the way of people and they'll only bite if provoked. Larger crocodiles, some of them are curious. They'll swim over to a disturbance and check it out. And that means someone can get bitten. Fortunately, Westpac Little Ripper has an answer for this too, with its croc spotter technology. So we've come out to a spot where crocodiles have been seen, so we've actually sent up the croc spotter drone and we're going to see if we can spot any. Oh wow, so we've actually spotted a croc here. Yep. I think it took you like a few minutes. Why not build something that enables us to have the exact same capability and effectiveness for sharks and we bring it up now to far north Queensland for crocodiles. The role of mobile co connectivity with our shark spotter and croc spotter algorithms is allowing the technology to be put in more places more often and then that, that information can go directly anywhere in the world to anyone that needs to see it. The mobile connectivity is paramount to this technology growing 
worldwide. One of the best things about Croc Spotter is it helps us a lot better. We know where they are, we can stay away from them or we can let people know they're there so that we can uh, improve our lifestyle around crocodiles. That we live in their environment, they live in theirs, if we can coexist, that's the most ideal thing. I believe there is a relationship between crocodile attacks and global warming and it's going to become more evident as time goes on. We know that global warming causes disturbance in crocodile behaviour because it affects their habitat and it affects their ability to feed. And what that does is it increases conflict with people. Westpac Little Ripper is there to help the lifeguard service with the amazing job they already do. But we do need to remember that it isn't just people that need saving. By being more conscious of the natural ecosystem, human beings can help safeguard the well-being of all creatures, great and small. If this has meant something to you, please show your support by sharing this story. Thanks so much for watching.